now while the body and the frame have been all done welded I will do this uh, gearbox support or whatever this thing is called there is some heavy rust here which I will have to replace and obviously on the other side we have some rust through system as well so I'm gonna be replacing something like that and here and maybe here as well so we have some work with that also got those cleaned up of major rust got some rust repair to do those as well and for my English watchers yeah you might be wondering why would you bother fixing those those are like 20 pounds or something like that well not here where I live so I'm gonna fix those decided to patch this up because uh, this actually not that bad so yeah I'm gonna patch it up all my patches for this are here one goes there one goes here and one goes there Okay, let's paint. So now I'm pre prepping for the primer. I'm uh, gonna try to prime the wheel wells and underneath the vehicle first. So prepping it with this uh, I don't know what it's called in ah scotch sprite maybe I don't know so I'm gonna give it the slight cuff everywhere before I can apply any paint but I'm gonna quickly do that and I can start putting some paint finally on this thing. It is actually pretty nice to be that close to be putting paint on this. It has been a while. Primer is all mixed up. And don't get shocked. I'm going to use a roller. And to do the at least the first coat of priming. I do have a paint can. And I think I can use one. But I'm pretty sure that I can get the paint pressed into the nooks and crannies quite a lot nicer with the roller uh, plus underneath having all the frame uh, in the way here it would be quite a pitch to try to paint there with a paint gun so yeah don't judge me in the end there is no difference how you get the paint on as long it's on there and I'm not gonna paint outside of the car with the roller don't worry about that mates
So I got my solid two coats of primer on all the our welded parts on the sides and bottom. I haven't put any primer here because uh, I will put some filler there first and here as well. But right now my main goal is to get the bottom and the floor of the car done. And then I will uh, concentrate on the exterior panels. And next I'm gonna do the stone chip or the undercover undercover protection art drill that stuff. Got all this stone chip applied. Forget to take video of that. All the bottom is done as well. I'm looking all sweet. Now I'm gonna go and have a bite of feet and uh, when I come back then I'm gonna start uh, prepping the springs out there need to paint those as well and got a bunch more pieces to paint I've got the front springs sealed up with the wire wheel and the rear ones still to clean but then I'm gonna paint those yellow I think and now I'm ready to apply the raptor coating to the floor here got all the bits covered off which I don't want this uh, raptor on and now I can apply this stuff here. All right. Got also the second coat of paint onto those brake calipers. Don't worry about those. I ordered all new repair kits for the, all those calipers, so in the end those will look all nice. I will also replace this pipe probably. And if not, then I'm gonna clean it up. But yeah. 
I also got the springs painted, front sockers, rear sockers, the ones I got, the paint was rather okay. Those are different color, but yeah, I don't really care about that. Most important that everything is nicely painted. Just to prevent the rust from starting to appear. Next day for me, this is looking very good. Also, yesterday I got the frame painted. One more coat, and this is the last coat. Looking real nice. And now I'm gonna deal with this uh, cowl part here. Need to scuff it and uh, clean it and put some primer on this and also those wing inner wings here on the other side as well. It's gonna be quite fiddly due to the wiring mess and whatnot here, but I will manage. I will do that next. Got all those nicely primered. Now while the primer dries, I can do something else. I will clean and put some primer on those uh, hood hinges. And I got a bunch more undercarriage parts to clean and paint as well. Like those front, this is the rear sway bar and the front sway bar. Some links and stuff like that. And yeah, so I'm gonna do those now. That was looking really rough, so I uh, cleaned it up and put some fresh paint on it. Also the brake booster. Needs a second coat though. Now I'm gonna do this. I don't know, it's some brake regulator kind of stuff. Gonna put some paint on that as well. This all nicely painted. All right. For me today, my next operation will be replacing the seals on that uh, box down there. Hopefully, I can do that while this thing is on the car because I would really not want to remove it, but. I will see. So I'm gonna do that and we will go from there. Getting that bastard off. 
off here was a real nightmare, mate. Uh, I think I'm gonna celebrate getting that off, mate. <laughs> that was a real bitch. But at least I got it. So you know, this bitch can really be a real bitch if it wants to. Now I can finally start replacing the seals. Got those seals replaced now. Clean this shoulder nicely up. And next I'm gonna get this front axle in here. Before I move it uh, any further, I'm going to install this. And so I got new pushings for that end here. Got this thing pushed against this so I could get this nut done. And now uh, it's only the case of tightening this thing. And we are done with that side. I need to move it, move it. Next I'm gonna install the springs and stuff. Got that one tightened. Up top as well. And now we can tighten that one. Those are also those nylon. Or nuts to to the to to that side and and so there. And now I can do this side as well. Ready to start putting the rear axle back in. Got those shock mounts already installed.